Scientists are reporting traces of the COVID-19 Omicron variant have been found in the wastewater of multiple cities across the state. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke to researchers who recently detected a sample with what looks like Omicron in the Bay Area. The next COVID-19 outbreak or new variant could be first detected in our wastewater. Even if a person doesn't even know they're infected or hasn't gone to get tested in a laboratory, we can detect the signal from their infection in the wastewater. For the past 14 months, this team at UC Berkeley has been monitoring the genetic material of COVID-19 in wastewater. They're getting their samples from 15 different sewage facilities across the state. Late last week, they sequenced a sample with traces of the Omicron variant. And at one of the Bay Area sites and one of the Southern California sites, we have detected the potential presence of Omicron. The Bay Area sample was detected outside of San Francisco, suggesting this process of detection could be faster than clinical samples and, of course, the possibility of more cases than the ones we know of today. So what's the plan to find other variants? So in addition to looking for a specific variants with quantitative PCR, we also sequence the wastewater and that allows us to look for any mutations that are there, even new mutations that we don't know about yet. And so it's um, quite possible that we could detect a new variant in the wastewater that hasn't even been detected yet in clinical samples. At Stanford University, there's another team of scientists working 24 seven measuring daily samples of wastewater. Their latest findings also pointing to a detection of Omicron in multiple cities. In three samples, two from Sacramento and one from Merced, we did detect Omicron at very low levels. Both groups are hoping early detection of variants could help communities respond before there's an outbreak. What we saw with the Delta mutation in wastewater is that it just steadily increased over time and there was this really strong increasing trend in its concentration so we're looking to see if we observe the same thing with the Omicron mutation. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.